YouTube knife community. Today we're going to talk about uh, my purchases over the weekend, things I was able to pick up uh, not only at the flea market, but we went out to Arthur, Illinois to the, uh, oh, it's the, the Amish country down there. They're having some type of barn sale. It was kind of a flop, but down there you do have some uh, antique stores and such. So I was able to hit up uh, some of them and, and find a couple of more purchases. Um, so I kind of want to talk about that. You guys are always like, Big J's always going to the flea markets, getting great deals, this and that. Well, I want you to know this weekend I didn't purchase a case knife. I didn't, I didn't get one. But I found one I really like. Um, Lee has it, so I'm going to work a deal with him. It's a stag copperhead. It's in great shape, but uh, this video ain't about that. This video is about what I did buy over the weekend. So we'll start. Let's start with the flea market. Went to the flea market Friday night. Um... Found a couple of things on a vendor's table that wasn't Lee. So we'll just go in order of what I did buy this weekend and where I bought it and how much I paid for it and whatnot. But the, the first purchases I bought this weekend, one of them, and, and these two items, we got the, well, we got a uh, Victorinox Classic with uh, some advertising on it there. It says LTV Aerospace and Defense. Um, Honestly, it has everything as an SD Classic. It just doesn't have the screwdriver tip. It does have the the scissors and uh, the toothpick and the, the tweezers and whatnot. So, so there's what there's what she looks like. Now, this was on a table for five dollars, along with this right here. This is a guy had it that I usually buy tools from. He uh, has a lot of Snap-on Mac tools, things like that, and he's pretty affordable on his prices. Um, so he had these two blades. Um, this one here is in pretty good shape, this electrician's knife. Um, we have all the meat on the bone. Screwdriver's in good shape. Uh, the screwdriver lock works good. We got the bail that's still on there. It really honestly just needs cleaned up. Um, and he had two of these. This one he had $7.50 on. I think he had the prices mixed up on these because he had another one and the lock didn't work on the screwdriver part. Um, and he wanted $10 for that one. So, um, there's the back springs. They, they do need cleaned up. I'm not going to lie. It needs cleaned up. But, I mean, this is a whole hearty knife. I, everything is there. So, he had this for $7.50. And he had $5 on this one. This this little uh, classic. This little Victorinox classic. Well, I picked both of them up. And he, he knows I'm a straight shooter. And uh, I was like, hey, you know. I got a $10 bill, give you $10 for both of them. He said, okay. <laughs> so I got these two right here for 10 bucks. These two right here, $10 total, pretty good deal. So yeah, this just needs cleaned up. This one's all there. It doesn't have a keychain loop, but I don't care. Someone could use this as a fifth pocket carry. So I got those. That was my first purchase at the flea market. Let's put this thing over here. Then I went over to Lee and, I, you know, he had some new stuff, some, well, not new, but it was older, but it was in really good shape. And of course, with that stuff, um, it does cost quite a bit. And, you know, it's close to Christmas, got family coming. Uh, I was like, ah, what do I do? What, you know, and I was going to that sale the next day and down to Arthur. And, but he had this uh, Victorinox Bantam. I don't know why I'm getting all these Victorinoxes lately, but uh, he had this one. This Victorinox Bantam with this um, Weaver XX um, advertising on it. That is a tactile goods company. I looked it up. I googled it. Um, just good blade too. All of it's there. Um, had a little schmutz on it when I got it, but uh, you know the blade, minor scratching. Just some minor scratching on it, maybe not even really. <laughs> so someone got this probably who worked there then they've probably never done anything with it so it's mine now or whoever I'm going to gift it to whatever and he had ten dollars on that and I was happy with paying full price for it you know I was like you know ten dollars and that's really the only thing I bought off of him um so I got these these three items right here at the flea market Friday night. This is what I got at the flea market. Those two uh, Victorinoxes and a Camelus electrician's knife. Now the following morning, my wife wanted to go to this uh, 
homesteader show thing in Arthur, Illinois. So we got in a truck, went down there. And it, honestly, it was a flop. It, we had to pay $5 to get in. And uh, it wasn't worth going in for free, honestly. Um, a lot of like home decor stuff. Very expensive. Not up my alley, but uh, very little knives. But I did find what I think is a sportsman. Victoria Dock Sportsman. Um, so, let's just open her up here. You know, this is uh, what it has. Oh, I should have. And you'll see a picture at the beginning of this if you scan if you scan through those, then that's okay. I was going to open it up anyway, but there she is, fully open. And I believe that's a sportsman. I could be wrong though, because I'm kind of ignorant on these things. Um, it has the toothpick and the uh, tweezers. Everything is here. Um, the blade, really in good shape. The blade's in, in pretty pretty good shape, if we look at that. He had $15 on it. He's an older guy. He had to have been, he's well over 90. Um, but, you know, he's out there. And he had 15 bucks on it. I went up to him and he said, well, you take 10 he looked at it, he opened it up, he's like, nah, I gotta have 15. I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll give you 15 for it. You know, I drove all that way down there. Didn't know if I was gonna get anything else, so I went ahead and paid $15 for it. Um, and then he says, wait before you buy it. He opened up the blade, he said, I gotta show you something. <laughs> so he showed me the tank stamp, you know, the Victorinox, uh, Switzerland stainless, uh, Ross Fry, which stands for Ross Fry, and he goes, you won't be able to sharpen it. It's stainless. And he was serious as a heart attack. And I said, uh, I think I'll be all right. I pulled my Spyderco pair of three out of my pocket. I said, I sharpen this thing all the time. I think I'll figure out how to get her sharp. <laughs> and uh, he's just a good old man. Just a nice old man. You know, I like having conversations with old timers like that. So, and then his daughter was there too. And I, she's a good bit younger than him, but she was still older. And I said, he drives a hard bargain. But, uh, you know... I was happy to pay 15 to him for that. It wasn't a big deal to me to pay 15 for that. Um, so then we got in the truck and we went to a couple of uh, antique stores I know of down there. Um, the first one I stopped at, my wife, uh, wife was up at the counter and she goes, Jerry, you gotta come over here and look at this. Well, he had a Western. Um, kind of dirty, but the blade's all there. I haven't touched this stuff. I thought about, I thought about cleaning it before I did this video, but I was like, you know what? People won't need to see how I get these things. So this is what it looks like when I got it. Um, handles good, handles all there. There's no, this is usually rusted. The tang is usually rusted. Two pin construction, the patent. You guys know, you guys see me do videos on these, but it's the L48A. So it's like a smaller hunting knife, like a fin. Bigger than a bird and trout, but uh, sheath is all here. Sheath is in great shape. Matter of fact, the guy got it at an estate sale, and the guy who had it before him uh, put his initials in there. P J B, or P, yeah, P J B is his initials. He told me the guy's name and everything, and he had he had forty five dollars on this, right? Forty five. And I was like, hey, you know what? Um, I'll give you thirty five. He said, ah. He said, I'll meet you in the middle and do 40, which is what I wanted. And I said, not a problem. I pulled out the money, so I got $40 in this one. So, so far we got three Victorinox, a Western, and a Camus Electrician's Knife. Um, so I thought, I could, you know, 40 bucks for this, not a bad deal at all, especially after the deals I got in the other ones. Uh, this, for me to pay 40 for it, not a big deal. So then we went to uh, another antique store, and uh, he had two things that I wanted to buy. First of all, he had this like survivor paracord bracelet thing and it's still in the wrapping it was like uh, three dollars but uh had a yellow tag so i think i paid half price for it so a dollar fifty but you open it up it's just got a little got a little knife got a little knife in the the part that retains into that so got the compass in case you get lost and then you got a little little knife to cut your paracord and it's even got plastic on it now so i'm going to give this away during the live um i thought it was a pretty cool little thing it's got a whistle <laughs> so may you get lost with this thing you're golden you're going to survive um the apocalypse with this bracelet 
and uh, you know for a dollar fifty for me to give it away to uh, you know basically the paracord is what you're going to use out of this um, the other two items not much so dollar fifty for this thing and then he had C clamp um, malleable iron unbreakable made in the USA smaller C clamp now I love my C clamp so he had four dollars on it. And I just went ahead and paid full price for it. You know, $4 for a little C clamp. I'll take it all day. I can use it to keep stuff put together and things like that if I'm working on it or whatever. So, $4. $1.50. So then, uh, what did we do? After that, we went and got some lunch. And then we went to another antique store, uh, I believe. Then this antique store is kind of a... It is an Amish antique store, so you can't really negotiate prices there. So what they got listed is what you have to pay. Um, I went through, we were basically looking for leather making stuff for, for my wife, for Sarah. You guys know Miss Sarah does the leather making. Um, hence this thing right here. She made that for me. Pretty cool. Pretty cool coaster. So she was looking, she did find an Osborne leather making knife. Um, now with it, there's all kinds of hatchets and stuff. And I seen one down low, and I was like, hey, hand me that hatchet down there below you. Well, she did. And uh, she pulled up this thing right here. Oh, look at the tank stamp there. Or no, it ain't the tanks, it's just the stamp. We got Kelly Axon Tool Company, Charleston, West Virginia, USA. So, we got a little mushrooming here. Not, not bad, though. And I'm honestly going to leave that mushroom in because if I go straightening that out, it's going to take off some of that Kelly Axon Tool Company. And I want that left on there, so I'm not going to worry about the mushrooming on this hatchet. Um, it does need rehandled. I'll take care of that. Um, it had uh, $39 on it, so, you know, I had to buy it. Um, it's all there. There's no cracks, no splitting. Um... If you look it doesn't need rehandled it's you know you got pieces of wood coming out of the top of it but you can see where someone's had some tape on it for probably years on end it probably was in a barn with some sort of tape on it um probably leaned up against the wall or something but man look at this look at the steel on this thing guys look at the steel just good good american steel and that's when kelly axon tool um, was in Charleston, West Virginia from 1940, or from 1904. They moved there, I believe, in 1904 to use the natural gas in West Virginia and be along the river there in Charleston, the Canal River, for cooling. And uh, uh, they changed their name to, uh, oh, I want to say Kelly Per, or True Temper Kelly, in 1949. So this is a 04, probably through, a guy told me 04 through 40 because of the stamp. So, I mean, uh, she's pretty old. She's at least, what is that, at least 83 years old. Could be over 100 years old. And now it's in a home that'll keep it forever. I'll have this uh, till the day I die, or unless I give it to one of my kids before then. But, I mean, it's just a good piece of American steel. Um, so, if we look, we got one, two, three, four, five knives, a hatchet, Paracord bracelet and a seat clamp. So we got 40, 40, 80, 90, 105, 115, 115, 119. So like a $121.50 and all this stuff. So that's what we got this weekend. Um, and I'm not going back. I'm kind of done for the weekend. It's Sunday before the live, so I'm just kind of relaxing. I did a lot of chores yesterday and this morning. So we're just kind of going to relax. But uh, just want to show you the Western one more time. She's all there. All the meat is on the blade. It just needs cleaned up. I'll hit her with some uh, Neverdoll and some, some of that good, uh, probably Mother's Aluminum Car Wheel Polish. And get some of that uh, gooey stuff off there and... Uh, then she'll be just a great knife. She'll be a great, great knife. I don't even know if I'll sharpen it or not. I haven't sharpened any of my other westerns yet, so 
we'll see how she goes. Hey, so guys, like, subscribe, leave me a comment if you like the videos like this of me explaining what I get, how I get it, things like that. Kind of did the same style when I went to the, the case event, and uh, you guys seem to like that video. So, yeah, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, guys. Stay sharp and stay strong out there.